Hello, I'm Talon, and welcome to Favorite Features of Film, the channel that features features on the features of our favorite features. Now, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do for the first video on this channel, but I knew that I wanted it to be about Godzilla, because that's one of my favorite franchises. But I also wanted to start with something fun and not too complicated to do a video on. Enter Godzibon. Warning right now, I may mispronounce some words. I'm going to try not to, but hey, it happens. Godzibon is a Japanese web series featuring puppets based on various Godzilla monsters from throughout the franchise. Episodes started airing on the Godzilla YouTube channel in August of 2019, and it has had multiple seasons since then. But I'll only be focusing on the first season, because in August of 2021, episodes of Godzibon began being uploaded to the Godzilla official by Toho channel with the option to turn on English captions. Dang, that is such a mouthful. <laughs> this is where I watch Godzibon, and as of the recording of this video, all of season one has been uploaded, and they've just begun posting episodes of season two. So, I thought it would be fun to binge watch all of the first season, having never watched any of the episodes before, and then do a kind of overview of the entire season. Let's begin. Episodes of Godzibon run from about 5 to 10 minutes in length, with a total of 21 episodes in Season 1 of Godzibon. The season features multiple segments following different characters, but the main segment is definitely Go Go Godzilla-kun, go, go, Godzilla with most episodes following this storyline. And just a heads up from here on out in the video, there will be spoilers for Season 1 of Godzibon, if you are interested in seeing it for yourself first or after the video is over, I will have a link to watch Godzibon in the description below. Not that I think anyone would mind spoilers for the show, but I figured that I'd mention it. Go Go Godzilla Kun follows three brothers of the Godzilla family. Little, designed after the baby Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Manila, who resembles the baby Godzilla in Son of Godzilla and godzilla Coon. I don't think godzilla Coon is designed after any Godzilla in particular, but he definitely gives me Showa vibes. Also, the character is very insistent that his name is godzilla Coon and not just Godzilla. These three brothers spend their time training to become awesome monsters, and a typical episode consists of godzilla Coon demonstrating what the monsters will be doing, Little doing an okay job at completing the task, Manila failing to comedic effect. And then the Mothra larva shows up and knocks it out of the park. Sometimes literally. Most of the early episodes follow this formula with a few throwing Anguirus or Baragon into the mix. That is, until the Godzilla brothers find a mysterious egg. Manila becomes attached to the egg and decides to watch over and protect it. It's a good thing that he does this, because the three Dorat brothers travel back in time to eat the egg. Wait, what? Anyway, Manila defends the egg, and after three minutes, the Dorats are sent back to the future. The egg hatches, and it's a little baby Rodan that Manila names Radon? I, I don't know if I'm missing something here, but in the captions, it says it's a baby Rodan, but they name it Radon. Well, after that, Gigan attacks the monsters of Earth, and there's an awesome fight between godzilla Coon and Gigan. Nah, Gigan is just dropped in a hole by Anguirus and Baragon, but it's still pretty fun. The season finale shows the return of the Dorat brothers to eat Radon. The Dorats merge into King Ghidorah, and to stop him, them, uh, to stop Ghidorah, Godzilla Kun and his friends stand together for a climactic battle, but right before it happens, the season ends. Godzibon doesn't really show many monster fights, but I can't really fault them for that because it's a kid show told with puppets. I'm not sure if season 2 of Godzibon picks up where this one left off because I haven't begun watching it, but I probably will once all of the episodes are posted. However, for the sake of this video, that is the end of Go Go Godzilla Kun for Godzibon season 1. But wait, didn't I say there were multiple segments in Godzibon? I did, and they're even weirder than Go Go Godzilla Kun. The second most prominent segment is Hidoji or Grandpa Hido, as it's called in the English captions. The segments follow the titular character, Hidoji, as he walks across the land with his grandson, Hidochi, 
or Little Hito. The pattern of these segments is that Little Hito asks his grandpa questions like if their life has any value because they're sludge monsters or what comes after failure, but Grandpa Hito replies a bigger failure. Like he just says another larger failure comes after failure. And that's it. I was waiting for something nice, but I mean, maybe something got lost in translation or Hidoji's just a pessimist. I don't know. Then after Hidoji answers the question, his grandson usually replies with his catchphrase, Oki Hidoki, which I just absolutely love. The segments are very short and there's one in almost every episode of the first season of Godzibon. Now I'm going to go a little out of order of appearance for this next segment, Go Jet Jaguar because there isn't much to say about it, and I didn't want to save it for last. Go Jet Jaguar differs from other segments in that it features drawings instead of puppets. The Jet Jaguar bits are pretty funny, with them showing Jet Jaguar having to update before battle, and it even shows an explanation for how he changes his size. It's that he's a balloon. Shh, don't tell anyone. The next segment, which alternates episodes with Go Go Godzilla-kun in the early part of season one, is Attention Godzilla. This segment is immediately different because it has real people and not just puppets. The first Attention Godzilla segment shows a woman having a pretty bad night. Her boyfriend breaks up with her. The heel on her shoe snaps, which I'm sure sucks. And then, oh my god, what is that? Oh, get, get rid of it. Okay, good, it's gone. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, back to this woman's terrible night. Oh, oh, jeez, it's back. But no, don't, don't hug it. Who knows what kind of diseases it has. I, I guess this little monster, based on one of the forms of Shin Godzilla, helps people feel better by feeding on their tears. Okay, no, this thing is a demon that feeds on the misery of others, and you can't tell me otherwise. But yeah, no, just keep it as a pet. That's cute. Yeah. And then there's an episode in what appears to be a post-apocalyptic wasteland, probably brought on by this horrific living piece of nightmare fuel that should be shot into the sun that is currently watching two women fight to the death for its own amusement. One of the women gets the idea to end our collective suffering along with the life of this little deep. Oh, come on! Well, now the cycle of violence continues. The last attention Godzilla segment follows a man meeting his daughter's new boyfriend and oh my god, she's dating the creature! Oh, wait, no. It was only a hallucination brought on by the stress of watching your child grow up and realizing the onslaught of time stops for no one. Nope, it's real. And this guy's daughter is married to a demon. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> Alright, I really enjoy the attention Godzilla segments and I love this little creature. Now, is that because I enjoy the absurdity of these episodes? Or has this demon cast its creepy little spell on me like it has with countless others? Who can say? The last segments are specials that don't exactly follow the plot of the other main segments, but they will often use the same characters. There's a retelling of the tortoise and the hare that I found very funny, and it has some pretty good references. Then we have a recording of a live performance the crew put on at Godzilla Fest, which was neat. And finally, we have a very special Christmas episode that brings together Go Go Godzilla-kun and Attention Godzilla. In this episode, the three Godzilla brothers dress up as Santa Claus to help their grandpa Zilla rescue Attention Godzilla, who has been named Kam Kamachi by a little girl. I guess Kamachi is trapped in the human realm and feeling lonely because humans are disgusted and afraid of him. Horrific living piece of nightmare fuel that should be shot into the sun. I guess I was kind of hard on the little guy. And the whole demon thing might have been an exaggeration on my part. I'm sorry, Kamachi. Well, that's about everything there is to know about Gazibon Season 1, or at least everything I know about it. I actually really enjoyed watching it, and it's something I would have loved as a kid. Ah, who am I kidding? I loved it now and can't wait to watch more. I just had a good time watching it. Hopefully, like you, had a good time watching this video. Right? Now don't you lie to me, because you'd only be lying to yourself. I'm like a little demon that stares into your soul with its vaguely fish-like eyes until you submit to my will. Like and subscribe.